Richard Dreyfuss was seen on video entering a screening in q and for his classic 1975 film Jaws wearing a dress before he was booed and faced walkouts from the Massachusetts crowd. Dreyfuss, 78, was appearing at the Cabot in Beverly, Massachusetts, for question-and-answer session followed by a screening of Jaws, the mega-hit which launched his career in 1975. Tickets went for as much as $300. Some of those present said the Oscar winner had made sexist and homophobic remarks, but further guests revealed the dress stunt preceded Dreyfus' criticism of parents of transgender children. Dreyfus walked onto the stage in the floral print blue dress and shook his hips to Taylor Swift's love story, while wielding his cane like a baseball bat, attendees claimed. He said that the parents of trans youth, allowing them to transition, was bad parenting and that someday those kids might change their minds, Diane Wolf, one of the ticket holders, said. In one of the clips posted online, Dreyfus says of trans children, it's not okay because when the kid's 15, she's going to say, I'm an octopus. Dreyfus eventually put on a suit jacket and got rid of the dress but continued to offend many in the audience. The Hollywood Reporter cites others who say he made disparaging remarks about Barbara Streisand, his co-star in the 1987 movie Nuts. Dreyfus himself has made no public comment on the event, while the theater holding it has apologized. His son Ben Dreyfus, a journalist, did comment on the matter on social media Monday evening. Re, my father, well, now you know why I refused to give him the password to his own Twitter account for a decade Lol. Dreyfus posted on X. After the event, the theater issued an apology to all those who had bought tickets. We deeply regret that Mr. Dreyfus's comments during the event were not in line with the values of inclusivity we uphold at the Kaaba. The press release began. We understand that his remarks were distressing and offensive to many of our community members, and for that, we sincerely apologize. At the Cabot, we are committed to fostering a welcoming and inclusive environment for all members of our community. The views expressed by Mr. Dreyfus do not reflect our belief, and we do not endorse them in any way. We take full responsibility for the oversight in not anticipating the direction of the conversation and for any discomfort caused. In response to the controversy, one attendee, Rogue Mama, tweeted, came here to see if Richard Dreyfus had been canceled tonight after appearing at hashtag the Cabot in Beverly. Another person tweeted an alternative title for the evening, an evening of misogyny and homophobia with Richard Dreyfus. Disappointing doesn't even begin to cover it. Ironically, on May 28, three days after Dreyfus's appearance, the theater is hosting an event titled How Discrimination Shows Up in Our Community and what we can do about it. On May 24, Dreyfus appeared for a similar session at the Music Hall in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. An attendee wrote on Facebook, Wow, he was awful, sexist, mean, arrogant. I walked out as did many others even before the Jaws screening. Awful. Just 12 months ago, Dreyfus was widely criticized for his remarks on the new diversity and inclusion requirements at the Academy Awards and said they make me vomit. Dreyfus made those remarks during an episode of PBS Firing Line which aired on Friday and claimed the Academy was treating people like children by implementing the new criteria.